Okay. It's August 31st, 2020. I was going to downtown Las Vegas in the morning. What is it? 6.30 uh, in the morning. And I wanted to use my new handle thing which I'm going to show on another video all my stuff I'm just kind of starting the videos like oh you just got to do it so I'm practicing I'll talk about politics Vegas whatever Duncan inside <sighs> now there's Fremont Street experience now I went to go park said four dollars there it is over there too 20 dollars for four dollars an hour 20 dollars an have to make better plans oh there's a guy getting ready now look around oh closed but anyway this is downtown i got me a coffee <sighs> Yeah, I remember downtown. I was going to come and walk around and talk about when I first came to Vegas 15 years ago because I wanted to play live poker at the famous Benny's because that's where it was. I was playing online, learned online. Thought, I'm going to do it live. Live poker. Go past my comfort zone. And yeah, it was nerve-wracking doing it live. Way different than doing it online. And there's some guy walking across the street there. And, oh, now he's waving me across. Oh, it's a fireman. Or it's a homeless guy with a fireman's hat. Just a few minutes ago. Should have had this on when the guy was trying to get in my car to saying help me out da, 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 da. didn't even have his COVID mask on <sighs> let's hit it uh oh there's a guy in there I don't know how they get up so early and end up sitting in their wheelchair like that I think they get dropped off Some of them, that's just the prop. I figured that out. But some are really hurting like that. But it's too many of them. You can't help them all. You know, and there's supposedly COVID here, and I'm uh, one of them. There's an ambulance over there picking somebody up at 7 Eleven. But you know, they got uh, it's COVID time and uh, look like they haven't taken a bath for 30 years. But you know, I wanted to come out here in the morning when the sun was coming up. It's super nice, it's like 79 degrees, 80 degrees. Let me see, of course, 79 degrees. <laughs> So what we'll do is we'll uh, just drive down here, here's 7th Street, and I'll drink my coffee. <sighs> Took my insulin this morning. Me and the wife went to L.A. last week. Yeah, last week we were there today. One week ago today. Pigeon. One week ago today, we we're driving down uh, the Wilshire Boulevard, Seventh Street, right down in the middle of LA. 
And there was a Black Lives Matter protest going on. We got right in the middle of that. People going with their hands raised, black power. I remember, I'm 63, I remember back in the 60s during the Civil Rights Movement when all hell was breaking loose, the riots in Tennessee, Watts riots in California. And uh, all the black power thing went on, but I kind of understood that then. But now, with all these politics and everybody running around there, they, oh, there was at least 200 bicycles or 300 just going down the middle of the road. Oh, shit. I was there first, you asshole. See what I mean? Even buses and everything. They think you know, it's a four-way stop. You gotta stop first. Anyway, and then people standing on the side of the road with the black power sign. And it was kind of different now that I'm older. And the civil rights movement went and my attitude is you say you're Afri African American and you live, you were born in America, you're not African American. You're American. African, Africans live in Africa. You can be a nat naturalized citizen, I guess, and be a maybe an African American because you were naturalized, that's, you were born in Africa. But the system is trying to separate us all. Just look at the news. They just pick and choose things. Little tiny things. You know, like the COVID. A one-year-old caught the COVID. One one-year-old out of seven billion people or whatever we got on this planet. They got to talk about it. Yeah. And the Hong Kong flu. In about 68, I had it. Felt like I was gonna die. Oh boy, here comes a guy running. Felt like I was gonna die. And didn't care if I died, but I made it through it. I was, what, 10, 10 or 11 years old. 11 years old, I think I was. Got over it, watched the Beverly Hillbillies for a couple days, went to school. So kids got sick from that. And now I think 100,000 people in our country died from it. And none of the, uh, somebody just ran a red light. That's what you gotta watch out for here. But they were all legitimate numbers, you know, not, oh, you've got COVID. And we test more in the United States. Trump's right about that. Of course, you know, I, you know, nobody ever studied that, but I studied, uh, you know, Trump's grandfather, that uh, he immigrated here from Germany, but they were in business. That's why they always said they were, Swedish because they had to deal with a lot of Jewish heritage people and being German in the early 1900s and well the, the well you know around 1935 and everything that was offensive so anyway Trump's grandfather was immigrated here from Germany, I guess it was him and his grandmother, and they went back to Germany, begged to stay there, but Germany deported them because they left and he didn't serve his required time in the military. You know, all young men had to spend a certain time in the military, which that's not a bad idea. But anyway, 
in 1918 and nobody this is the news this is the big bombshell Frederick Trump changed his name to Frederick from Friedrich because that was the pronunciation in German Frederick Trump died of the Spanish flu how about that and Trump's uh, Donald Trump, our president, who's definitely got an ego. Everybody knows that. I mean, you think that's kind of obvious, huh? But our president, Donald, let's see where I'm at now. Let's drive. Oh, there's the stratosphere over there. I better get back around over toward there. But, uh, who would have thought that, that uh, his grandfather, nobody said a word about it, died of the Spanish flu. The big one, that was a horrible one. People, nose bleeding, blood coming out of their ears. But it looks like I'm gonna. Oh, let's go down to Shadow Lane. I can't see now. Uh, yeah, let's see you can see the bus. Oh yeah, I forgot back in here there's some mansions. They're hidden. Wait a minute. Oh, that's one where they tore it down, but uh, here's some fencing ones. There's a super nice house there. Super nice. I remember accidentally driving down here once. Probably some these, this is an older area too, so some super high rollers. Not high rollers, ones that ripped off the high rollers. Lived here. Perfect neighborhood, and see how beautiful it is, and then they don't have lawns. The mo. Uh, I was trying to get here early enough and get down there. I didn't obviously didn't get around enough, so I'll just take you for a ride. I've got I'm practicing YouTube, and I got this new camera and holder thing. I'll hold you. I'll show it all to you with my old camera later on. And then I'm gonna just do some videos and then try to figure out how to edit during this corona you might as well do that and I've got the Las Vegas retired when I moved here two years ago be two years ago yeah tomorrow but uh, I had the idea well we moved here from South Dakota Yankton Sioux Indian Reservation. I'll tell you a story about that another time. But uh, just remind me. But I thought I'll use my YouTube channel and make it Las Vegas Retired and show, make it for a channel for retired people like me that want to come to Vegas and uh, you know the cost of living in Vegas is cheap 
compared to most places. The only thing is you can't be an out of control gambler. You know, I came here because I play some poker. You know, don't go crazy. I'm in a poker league that's like a bowling league. That's social league and it's fun. You have contests and things. And I like sports betting. You know, as long as you go there and first when I got here it went crazy. Sports betting, running around doing this and the slot machine, stay away from them damn things. You cannot win, you will never catch up. Oh, you'll win, but if you got uh, OCD or anything, don't know when to leave, you, you know, you'll just dump it all back in. But, you know, it's fun. But you, if you do stuff like that, be, do dumb things and go out and overspend and over entertain if you want to retire on a budget you're going to go broke you're going to be living in a cardboard box but there's plenty of things to do here there's the Red Rock Canyon if you like to go hiking and there's you know just a half hour from here is the mountains when it's hotter than hell down here you want to get away go camp up in the mountains for you know as long as you want to I had a big old plan here so all I'm going to do I'm just going to do videos I'm going to start putting them on there I might even try somewhere I'm just talking giving my like a political view I'll write it down You know, like I said, the black power thing there kind of gave me a different taste in my mouth. I was in the Air Force. I'm a veteran. This and that. But uh, I kind of got the feeling that they were going black power and we're going to kill you if you're white. If you're white, you're a piece of shit. That's... Uh, that's what they... But the uh, it's an election year, and that's what they want to do: is pull us all apart. Like they're saying, if you're you don't vote for Biden, you're not black. Uh, how stupid do they think that uh, our Americans are? That's just stupid. You know, and they put some gal in there that says she's half black and half his vice president says, and, uh, and half, she's half Indians. So she picks and chooses whatever she wants. So in one minute she's Asian, next minute she's African American, next one minute she's a downtrodden woman. That's a bunch of bullshit. You can see when she's doing her speeches that I'm the first black vice president candidate. And then she swallows. Because she's lying out the ass. Any poker player, that's a number one tell. You can talk to somebody while they're playing poker and I'll kind of pull some information out of them. Just watch when they answer. They answer and they'll swallow. You know, you know they're lying. Generally, unless you get a really good poker player that knows that good poker players know the tell. But she wasn't playing poker. She was just flat out lying. And, you know, what else about her mother from India? Did her mother not like beef? Because in India, they worship beef, cows. 
so forget about barbecue ribs what are they gonna do outlaw guns and barbecue ribs I guarantee you most black friends that I had in the Air Force we barbecue have barbecues beer and this and that and them guys as much as I did or anybody else love barbecue ribs that's American barbecue chicken that's American like I always told my son, if you're not bar drinking beer while you're barbecuing, it's a sin. And now, of course, he barbecues all the time. Because then he's got an excuse to drink beer. Oh, well, looks like here, here's something new. This is the Strat, and this is on the north side of the Strip. We're on the Strip right now, and it looks like they built... A gateway like in St. Louis remember the gateway arches which supposedly symbolized the gateway to the west because that's going past the Mississippi to the west so here's well, it looks like the arches maybe it means something else the city of Las Vegas missing a couple letters yet <laughs> love this part there there's the Aztec Inn Casino oh and it's open never been in there breakfast five bucks I'm gonna have to go there I had a little bit of breakfast but where in the heck would you park now everywhere you go they <laughs> charge you for parking go around see but this is just this isn't that long video I'm just practicing and then I'm gonna get you know hopefully good because I have another niche idea I have twin granddaughter those dang on pigeons won't get out of the way here I am slowing down for them but anyway twin granddaughter they're 10 year old traveling softball players like my daughter was I took her to traveling softball for seven years learned everything about that I was a coach had good teams good coach was told I was anyway but uh, of course no one tell what to say behind your back no we had good teams good girls it was fun I was a baseball coach before that, but then I had a daughter, all brothers, two sons, and then later on the daughter came and spoiled her. <sighs> Parking. Okay, I'm going to go into this Aztec. I don't think I can... I don't think I can film in there but look there's the Strat right there I love the Strat well they changed the Strat it was a Stratosphere and J 